All right, my friends, time for another fantastic Revit tip. <laughs> okay, this Revit tip <clears throat> was gen is going to be generated, or I'm going to do it because I got a comment on the last video that I made. Okay, the last video that I just made said uh, we made a new line type for use with a fire rating, okay? Well, the guy followed the video and made his own line type and or color, and then he loaded in his project. And then he decided that he wanted to update it. So he edited the family, and when he reloaded it back in, the line type didn't update. Color didn't update. What's wrong? And I commented, and I'm going to make a video today based on that comment. The comment was Revit is protecting itself. Revit will protect your intellectual property. It protects your project. If you go to load a family, I mean, I mean, let's just talk for a second. Let's just say you've taken the time to set up things really nicely. You've set up your materials and they're working perfectly in your project. You've set up your line types and your line colors and you've set up your dimension styles. You've set up your, what's another example? Um, oh, like a pattern. You've set up your own fill patterns and everything is working beautifully. And then you load in a family. If the name of the line type matches the exact same of a line type that's in the family you're loading, you wouldn't want it to change everything in your project. What if you have a material that you've worked on and you've got it perfect and you called it my favorite material, okay? For lack of a better name. And then you load a family in that that other guy that made this family, he made a material called my favorite material. And you wouldn't want it to overwrite all your hard work now, would you? Revit protects your decisions. And I'm gonna show you how you can overwrite that if you need things to fix. Okay, I'm gonna show you where you have to go. All right, let me just share my screen with you. And here we are in Revit. Okay, so let, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, let's say, let's go to our plan here. Mm -hmm. Working on a little plan. Okay, and I'm going to change my mm -hmm, view template. I'm going to tell my view template just to be none so I can, I can go down here and go shade. I just want this to be shaded so you can see what I'm about to do. Okay. We can talk about materials first. Watch what happens. If I said file, I would like a new family. I'm gonna make a new family, but let's keep it super, super simple. I'm gonna, this is, I don't wanna waste time. We're gonna go to a generic family and I'm gonna make, wait for it, a box. Mm-hmm, a box, extrusion. Look at this. I'm just going to make us a box, okay? This little box, la la la. And if I go to 3D, Whoa, that's gorgeous. Look at that box. Oh, wow, it's a beautiful box. Let's go and make a material. I'm going to manage my materials and I'm going to create a new material. Look how many materials are in my template. Whoa, I've got, I've got defaults of a few things in glass. I'm going to make a new material, okay? This is not a video on making a material, ma new material. I'm just going to make one and I'm going to rename it purple is purple-ish, purple-ish, okay? And I want you guys to see over here, okay, that the graphics color of purple-ish, I'm gonna change to be purple, bam, okay? So I made a new color. And if I tell this object here, get my face out of the way, if I tell this object to use purple-ish, okay, purple-ish, and then you actually change your view to be shaded. You can see it. Okay. 
you guys with me? Took me a second to get there, but we've got a purplish box, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load that purplish box in, do I wanna name it? Yes, I wanna name it. I'm gonna name it purplish, purplish. How do you spell purplish? Box, okay, purplish box. There's my purplish box being loaded into my project, okay? And I'm going to place same purplish box. I'm gonna to go to components and place purplish box. Do you guys see what I'm doing? I got three purplish boxes right there in my lobby. Fantastic. Or <clears throat> I can even look at this, wait for it. Okay, I'm going to go to 3D. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's purplish boxes inside my project. But I'm gonna place a couple purplish boxes out here. Now, here's what I'm doing. The reason I wanted to show you this is this reason. Now I wanna go edit this. I go, you know what? I want that to be darker purple, much darker purple. So if I click on this box and I say, edit family, and I come in here, I'm like, go back to shaded. Okay, I want this to be dark purple, okay? So if I came in here and went to manage my materials, and here's my, my material is purplish, you see it? And I click on it. And if I bring this down, so it's really dark, dark purple, okay? Okay, okay, there. Ooh, you guys see that? Did you guys see the change? That's dark purple, love it. I want it to be dark purple. So I'm gonna load this into my project. Do I wanna save it? Sure, yes, I want this to be purple. Yes, and now load in my project. And overwrite, yes. They didn't change. Did you guys see that these did not change? Revit is protecting the purplish color in the project. And a family was coming in and it's got the same name. And Revit protects it and doesn't let the exact same name of a material come in. If I had called that Pur darker purplish, it would have come in and fixed because it would, it would have introduced a new color to the project. But because the material is exactly the same name, it protects mine that's already in the project. You guys with me? If you want to update that purplish, you can't fix it in the family and try to reload it. You can do that all day. It will not fix it, okay? To fix it, once a material has been loaded into your project, you have to change it in the project, okay? I would have to go to manage, materials, wait for it, go to purplish and click it here and darken it here to get it to darken, okay? You with me? Bam. So your project is protecting it. Now let's go one step further. Let's go back to the plan. You remember how um, in the last project, <clears throat> I mean, in the last video, I made a new line type with new color and it even had text embedded in it. So I want you to go see that video if you feel like it, but I'm gonna do it again here and show you how if you try to change it in the family, it won't. You have to fix it here in the project. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. File, here we go. I'd like a new family. And I'm just gonna go fast here to show you because it's gonna be a line, a detail line-based family, okay? Just gonna go through it fast because I wanna show you how Revit's gonna protect the project. Here we go. I would like a line from this intersection to here, okay? But if I go and I say manage my settings and my line, um, line my line styles, Click on line styles. Where's my line styles? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How come that's not going anywhere? Okay, object styles. Oh, duh, I'm in a family. Click on object styles. I need a new line type here. Look, I'm gonna make a new line. Um, wide dashed line. Okay, it's called wide dashed line. There it is. I want it to be wide. Yeah, 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 wide. Let's go up to eight. Ooh, and I want it to be Blue. Oh yeah. Oh, how about that blue? Okay. 
and I want it to be dash. So I have created a new line style in my family here, okay? And if I tell this little guy to use that wide dash line style, bam, there it is. Okay, it's beautiful, it's gonna work. I'm gonna save it just for fun. And behind my face, there it is. I'm gonna call it um, wide dash line detail family. <laughs> Who cares what you call it? Say, okay. Now I'm going to load in the project and I'm going to use it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to annotate and use a component. Now look at this. Do, 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 do. You guys with me? You guys see how that line is working? I'm just going around these boxes. There we go. Look at that. That is the family that I just created. Let's just say that was for a fire rating. Ooh, stay away from the boxes, it's fire rated. Okay, now let's edit that. I'm gonna change them to orange. I'm gonna say edit family, okay? And I'm sitting here in the family, I'm loving it. I'm gonna go to my modify or manage my object styles, okay? And there is the wide dash line. I am gonna change that guy to be orange, okay? Bam, beautiful. I wanted it to be orange. Now I'm going to load it into my project and close it, sure, save it. And yes, override the old one. I wanna override it. And what do we got? Override it, here we are, ta-da. It didn't change. Revit is protecting my project from line styles that are exactly the same name coming in. It keeps the one in my project. The only way to edit this is not go back to the family and change. you can change it all day long in the family. It will not update back in the project. Once a family has been loaded and something new has been introduced, like a new material or a new line style, it is only editable now in the project. So where do we go to fix it? We would go here. Same place, manage, object styles. You expand detail items and you'll see it right there. I'm just gonna expand this. There it is, wide dashed line, eight, and it's still blue because it protected it. It protected your line. And so I click on that and now I can change it to anything I want. If I do change it to orange, I can say, okay, and bam, it, it's updated to orange, okay? Let's do one more and I'm talking, Here's how you know what it can do. I'm gonna to go to additional settings. Revit protects your line styles and your line weights and your line patterns and your fill patterns. It protects your materials. It protects all these things in the background. Even your, it protects even your um, dimension styles. It's anything in the background, it protects them. We're gonna do one last one to prove. Um, I'm gonna do a brand new, uh, fill pattern and show you it protects it too. So here we go, file. Um, I'm gonna make a new family again, a new little family. This is just a detail family. Let's just go to a detail item. This is really quick, down and dirty. I'm just trying to show you your Revit project protects you. And it's a good thing, but you gotta remember that anytime something is of the exact same name that's coming in, that is one of these styles and these background settings, Revit will protect your project. So here we go. I'm gonna put down a fill pattern, okay? And if I put down a fill pattern right here in this little box, and what did it put down? It put down concrete block, but let me make a brand new one, okay? So I'm gonna click on edit type, move my face out of the way. Instead of concrete block, I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna call this, um, T tiny little tiles, tiny little tiles. Okay, okay. And now for the pattern, I'm going to make a new, look at this, new drafting pattern. I want a, dra a new little drafting pattern. Wait for it. Tiny little squ squares. Okay, my pattern is gonna be called tiny little squares. And let's see, I want it to be a crosshatch. 
and I want it to be vertical. And I want it to be tiny. I'm talking 32 inch by 30 second of an inch. Look at that. Woo, that's tiny. I'm gonna say, okay. So my new fill region is gonna use tiny little squares. Okay. I'm gonna say, okay. Okay, so you guys see what I've got here? I've got a brand new fill pattern that didn't exist. Okay. And I am going to save that little family. Watch this file. This is just an example I'm showing you. Create, no, create, what am I doing? Save, I'm gonna save it. Um, tiny, or tiny, tiny squares, um, detail family, whatever. Save, okay? And I'm gonna load it into my project and close it. And when it comes into the project, it always yells at me. Okay, here we go. We're going to put in this detail family. Wait for it. Here we go. I'm going to go to annotate, component, and look, here's my detail family that I'm going to put in here. Bam, beautiful. Bam, bam. You can put as many as you want in there. This is my detail family that I just created, okay? And it's got the dashes and, and stuff in here. So let's say I go to update this. I'm going to click on this family. I'm not the dashes. It's got these little tiny squares. It's beautiful. So if I click on it, and I say, edit family. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to come here and modify. I'm going to manage my fill patterns. And I'm going to scroll down to my tiny little squares. And look at this. I'm going to edit those tiny little squares. And I'm going to make them wider. Look at that. I'm going to go. Why vertically wider? Okay, look at that. I'm gonna say okay, okay. Look at that. It clearly updated in the family. Even I can save it. Do you want to overwrite it? Yeah, save it. I want this to be the new pattern. Load into my project. Oh, I'm gonna have to overwrite. Yes, overwrite it. But it didn't overwrite. You guys see that? Revit is protecting my project even from patterns that have the same name. The only way to fix it is inside the family, inside the project. Um, and so I'm going to go to manage, additional settings, fill patterns. And if I scroll down, there it is, tiny little squares. I would have to hit edit here and change this to in the family, I mean, in the project in order to update it, okay? All right. I don't want to belabor this anymore. What I did want to tell you guys is Revit is actually trying to protect you. So if you ever are editing a family trying to get a pattern to change, it's not gonna. A material to change, it's not gonna. Line types, line patterns, Anything that has exactly the same name, it is not going to update back in your project. It won't do it. The first time you load it, it will come in. But then it's going to hold those settings and protect itself from any further changes. The only way to do it is to change it in the project. All right. I hope that helps some of you guys that have seen this. I know you've seen it. You're like, why didn't it fix? What's wrong? That's why. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy reveting. All right. Bye-bye.